welcome back to the Overtime Garage. And we're working on a 2011 Toyota Camry here. And it's got some troubles. It has a uh, crank but no start condition. And so I uh, started looking into what could possibly be wrong here. And it does have fuel, it does have spark, um, it does have air. Uh, so this motor should run. However, I'm suspecting that um, from a tip that it had made been overheated, uh, that it has a head gasket problem. So if it doesn't have compression, then that would cause this thing not to start. It's a relatively new car, so uh, the number of things that could be wrong with it are, are pretty small. And so uh, I'm suspecting we're on to something here with this compression issue and head gasket problem. Although there is not um, coolant or water in the oil, um, you can tell that from the oil dipstick here, it's just uh, good clean oil. Um, <clears throat> but you can tell from the uh, coolant cap, the radiator cap. This thing's been like destroyed for some reason, somehow. It's all broke apart, so. Uh, but just to confirm, we're gonna go ahead and do a compression test, so that's what I'll show you today. Let's get started. Okay, first off, uh, to run this test, you're gonna want a compression tester. I happen to be using this one from Actron and uh, I can link that up in the description. Um, to get access to the cylinders, what we've done is um, pulled each of these um, coil packs off. So you pull the plug from each of these, one, two, three, four. And uh, this little plug you wanna be careful with when you take that off. So supposedly you're just supposed to push that button and it'll lift up and come free, but that doesn't always work. So I use just a little pick, but carefully so you don't break that off. Pull this out and then pull the spark plugs. Um, I've just got a spark plug socket and inside there's a little rubber piece that grabs onto the ceramic portion of the plug and hangs on to it, to it as you pull it out of the the well, the spark plug well down in there. You can throw this down in and the rubber hose kind of acts like a way for you to thread that in, twist it in and get it snug doesn't have to be super tight just snug and then you can kind of set that where you can see it jump into the car <clears throat> now in here theoretically if all of your coil packs are unplugged then your ignition shouldn't uh, fire in other words shouldn't fire spark but it might still try and throw fuel via the fuel injectors and fuel pump. So what you'll want to do is reach underneath here and this is the cover. I'll turn this funky so you can see it. There's a, there we go. Fuse box and uh, you can pull either the fuel pump or the injector. I think I pulled the injectors. Um, fuse which is this one right here so that they're not firing throwing fuel in there while we crank it so uh, with everything hooked up this way just uh, fire this guy over and and you'll just crank it so it's like three or four rotations you can kind of hear it like this 
And then just check out the pressure. Uh, this will jump up to the maximum pressure and it'll hold it there. So this says right now just under 90 or like 85. And then this will release that so you can run it again and check out uh, the pressure for each of these. Now that's with the cylinders dry so if you think about what's inside there we got valves opening and closing and then um, the piston running up and down. So if you didn't have proper compression it could be a problem with either the valves up top in the head or it could be down low on top of the piston there those rings could be worn out so to check out if it's the lower part which is probably the more um, significant the lower end of the motor um, you can <clears throat> drop some uh, oil down in there just like a tablespoon of oil and that'll sort of artificially seal up the ring in the cylinder and <clears throat> if your pressures go up significantly then you'll know hey you have, an, you have an issue with the lower end if they stay the same then you can assume that you've got something um, some sort of problem on the upper end which is the valves where your head could have a problem with the valves so um, we'll do that check and I'll show you kind of how that looks Got this set up with the compression tester. We're in cylinder three. One, two, three. And let's crank it over. See what it looks like. There we go. PSI. Okay. Let's actually let's run that one more time. Right, we got sixty. Twice, so that's a good number for that. Cylinder three. Let's get some little table, tablespoon of oil in here. I can feel it snug. Zero that out. Set it up here for us to look at. Topped it out at 110. Okay, let's run one more time. And just under 110, probably 105. 
We'll call it 105. Okay, so with uh, the values that um, we saw on this motor, which um, were significantly lower when we didn't have um, the oil in there uh, to seal up the rings. Um, so therefore, issue on the lower end. So this motor would need to be taken out and rebuilt. We'd wanna check the head area. So there still could be an issue on the head gasket side uh, or the valve side, we wanna uh, get those inspected. Uh, when the engine's pulled out and, and torn apart. Uh, another option would be just to replace the, that whole motor. Um, however, the price on that's pretty significant. So uh, you got some options there, but uh, this motor is definitely compromised and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take it apart, take the engine out and, uh, and get it remedied. So uh, look forward to a few more videos on, on uh, working that out on this 2011 Camry so thanks for watching this and if you got any questions feel free to ask in the comment section uh, and thank you for subscribing and uh, checking out uh, my affiliate links uh, there in the, the description I sure appreciate you those that have subscribed and are supporting this channel and um, we'll catch you on the next one.